This video describes how to rig the SL top loudspeakers in tension mode. Welcome back, Chris and Jones. To use the SL aiming plate, a total of three hoist connector chains are required. The load beam is attached to the aiming plate and the front pick. Watch out for correct orientation. Slide the load beam onto the frame and lock it. In this case, we attach it in standard orientation. If you're using tension mode frequently, it is recommended to transport the cabinets in their collapsed configuration. The splay angle between the flying frame and the first cabinet is always zero degrees. The rear rigging strand holes for tension mode are labeled in black. Insert one angle pin per cabinet according to the list of splay angles generated in a ray calc. In this case, it's one, two, and three degrees. Lift the array slightly until all the display links have engaged their pins. Don't forget to insert the safety pins. To remove the Turing card, release the display link of the lowest cabinet and flip it up. Then remove the two front links. Lift the array to make room for the next cabinets. Extend the front links and connect the two parts of the array. Then set the splay angles. In this case they are 4, 5, 6, and 7 degrees. From the top to the bottom, lift each cabinet individually to engage its splay link and lock it immediately with the safety pin. For aesthetic reasons, the display of the bottom cabinet can be hidden. Finally, detach the touring cart. Let's do a final cross-check of all safety pins and we are ready to go.